today I thought I would share with you a couple of things that I have purchased recently for my home. I recently moved into this apartment with my boyfriend just over six months ago now um, and since moving in we haven't really made too much of an effort to decorate the place because we weren't sure how long we would be here for but now we know we're settled and we really love this place so I wanted to make it feel a lot more homely and comfortable and cozy so these are a few things that I've purchased recently to try and help create a more inviting and homely space. So let's start because I've got a few things to show you. So I will go through in the order that I purchased everything. The first place I went to was Typo um, and I got a few lights from there. I really like the idea of fairy lights because I know that they can really transform a space but I was a little bit worried that they would sort of make the room look a little bit young um, but I went ahead and bought some because I thought if I don't like them I can always use them for Christmas or something else um, and the lights that I purchased were these ones and they're called curtain lantern strand lights um, so they're kind of like um, curtain lights but you can kind of see that they have different lengths to them so um, yeah these are really cool um, and what I love about them is they are battery operated you don't need a PowerPoint you can put them anywhere in your house um, and yeah these look really cool on the wall I have put them above our bed um, and they are a white light um, which I kind of prefer sort of more of a warm light when it comes to fairy lights but these just look really cool above the bed and they really do make the whole room so instantly cozy and um, just such a nice ambient feel to the room so I'm really happy I got these the next thing I got was this hanging light which is kind of like a pendant light but it, again it's battery operated so you don't actually need to have it actually installed in the ceiling which is really cool. I've moved this into the bathroom which is, seems like a little bit of a weird place to put it but it's actually really cool. It um, just sits sort of on the side in the corner right near the bath and it works out really well when I'm having a bath there's just a little bit of dim light and it's really nice so I've got it there at the moment but again because these are battery operated you can kind of move them wherever you want the last thing I got from Typo was this vase now I'm just gonna give you a little warning there's a massive theme to all the things that I bought my favorite color you will notice is this color it's like a turquoise kind of mint mint turquoise I don't know what you want to call it but I absolutely love this color so when I saw it I thought I just had to have it it's so cute so it's like a little kind of vase that's got like ombre um, turquoise in it so it starts off white and then goes into like turquoise so the next thing I got was this mug um, I actually ended up getting this just from the supermarket but I really liked it one for the color and also the size it's quite big um, and I thought it would be perfect for like soup we're coming into winter in Sydney so I thought this would be awesome for winter to have like big hot drinks or soup or something like that and the next thing that's sort of like kitchen related again not really homewares but I thought I would include it is a cake stand so this is the cake stand that I got um, you can't really see the color too well this is really pretty like light mint color um, which is just so gorgeous and I actually saw this in the shop window a couple of weeks ago and I kept eyeing it off every single time I went past the shop and I know I really like something if I keep thinking about it and I just thought every time I saw it I thought this is so cute I have to have it it's kind of one of those things that you're not really going to use every single day um, I do love baking though so I thought this would be really cute just to display um, you know cakes and cupcakes and things like that the next couple of things I got were from like a local um, homewares boutique near me I don't actually know the name of the um, store but if I can try and link everything down below I will the first thing is a candle um, this one is by the aromatherapy co um, and it's Smith & Co chemistry um, candle I'll just open it up 
Um, and the reason I got this mainly was because it's in a beaker and I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. So this scent is cucumber, mint and sage. So it's really, really fresh smelling. It's also a little bit masculine, so it kind of reminds me of like a men's cologne, but in a good way. It's not um, too overbearing. It's just really, really fresh cucumber and mint. It's kind of like, kind of like a mojito. I also got from the same shop this basket. Looks a bit weird now, but it's actually a collapsible basket that you can put um, plants in. So you just pop it open like that and that's what it looks like so I saw these on display outside the shop and they had plants in them and they just looked so cool and I really want to add some more plants to the space that we're in at the moment because it's um, a little bit like just plain at the moment we don't have a lot on the walls and there's not a lot of greenery in here so I thought this would be a really cute little basket to display um, a plant in from the same store I got um, a pair of slippers so I wasn't going to include these in this homeware haul because I thought well it's not really homeware but I mean you wear slippers around the house so kind of could be considered homeware <laughs> but yeah I just fell in love with these when I saw them like now that I look at them I kind of think they're a bit grandma-ish like just the knitted kind of material but they are so soft on the inside and I just love the color I love the knitted I love the fur I love everything about them like I'm a massive grandma anyway so they're perfect for me um, and again it is getting cold in Sydney at the moment so these will be perfect for winter these are from a brand called Ruby and Ed as I said before I really wanted to add a little bit of green um, in our space but unfortunately I'm one of those people that just somehow manages to kill plants like I've got a few at the moment um, I've had an aloe vera plant for a few years but yeah all my succulents just end up dying I'm just I'm just a terrible person so <laughs> I thought I would get a few little plants that aren't real I kind of feel bad for having like a fake plant but it is just for decoration anyway so yeah I saw this one this one was from Adairs um, and yeah I just really liked the color of it and I feel like it doesn't look too fake at the moment I've just had this on my bedside table and it looks really cute there so from bed bath and table I got two things I got this succulent plant pot which um, it's not real unfortunately <laughs> But I think from afar it kind of looks real um, and I think I'm just going to pop this on my um, shelf um, and yeah I just really think that with within a space if you have like a little bit of green like just pops of like green like this or even better if you have real plants um, it just can really make a difference it really makes a space look like lived in and then I also got one other thing from bed bath and table which was a hand towel so this is the hand towel that I got um, it looks like that I don't know if I'm gonna use it in the kitchen or the bathroom it's kind of like a decorative hand towel I just love the color and the pattern so um, it's like a gray gray and cream kind of color with a little fringe um, so yeah I thought that would look really pretty the next place I went to was Kmart I feel like at the moment Kmart has really stepped up their homewares game um, I noticed it last year when I was moving house and I just needed to get a few like homewares things from there and yeah they've just really got some cool sort of on-trend pieces I really like Kmart for a really affordable um, home decor and I think Target is quite good as well um, so I got this box and I just really liked the color it also came in like a light pink color um, and it's kind of like a seafoam green it's not quite mint and what I thought this box would be good for is storing all my tea lights um, I like to um, occasionally use like an oil burner so um, I need tea lights for that so I thought it'd be a really good little box to keep all my tea lights and a couple of my um, oils the last thing I got from Kmart was this pillow 
so I've seen this, these pillows in quite a few like homeware stores at the moment and they're about $100 but I saw this it was I believe it was $12 but I just fell in love with the color it's just this really pretty like blush pink color and it's kind of like that shaggy fur um, so I thought this would be really pretty on my bed. I've got like a gray bedspread um, and I think pink and gray always looks really nice. So the last thing I got was a print. Um, and as I said, we don't have a lot on our walls at the moment, but I do think that um, when you have like pictures and prints on walls, it makes a space look so much more like lived in and like it just gives the space your personality. So. Um, I've been looking online, um, one sh online store which I absolutely love for prints and pillows and things like that is Society6. I have ordered a few things off there but they haven't arrived yet, um, but they have awesome prints. Um, one thing I did get though and it did arrive in time for this video was a print from Rifle Paper Co. And this is it here. So it's just like a really, really soft um, blush pink color and it says un dos toi on it and it's basically just some French writing on a pink background, <laughs> which is a little bit random but um, I just thought it would look really cool in a frame. It's not obviously framed yet. I just thought in like a white or gold frame this would look so cool on the wall. So that is everything that I got for my home um, and no it's a lot but um, as I said I haven't really done much um, styling or just decorating of our place yet so I kind of just went a little bit crazy. But yeah I hope you enjoyed and if you did please give this video a thumbs up or even better if you could subscribe that would be amazing and I am obsessed with homeware, so there's probably going to be another homeware haul very soon. Um, and yeah, I will hope to see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.